Hi there, this is Anton Duplessis, and in this video, I'm going to show you some new features in Dragonfly version 2022.2. .2. So I'm using a concrete sample, which has been micro CT scanned, and we've analyzed this before and demonstrated the, the process to segment the pore spaces and make an analysis of the pore spaces in a previous video, so please check that out. Um, in this video, I simply want to show you three new features. The one is for visualization of 3D, 3D visualization specifically. If you click on an object in and the 3D window is visual is active, you um, have in the 3D settings a new ed edge contrast tick box and slider. So when you click on the tick box and you drag the slider to the left, it provides a transparency a method of creating transparency while still seeing edges of the object on the opposite side and internal features which have edges. So this is quite nice for making a, a good visualization of internal structures, especially when you have internal structures visualized with um, this um, edge contrast transparency slider active. So there we have some pores the porosity which is being visualized um, with this transparency slider and because we have the image channel activated the pore um, information or color coding legend is not shown if you click on the porosity multi roi there you see that the, this color coding is according to sphericity so um, the second new feature i want to show you today is actually re related to this is when you have a multi ROI and you calculate different things like um, volume and, and surface area and so on, you can also calculate equivalent spherical diameter for pores. So this is a new feature. So this is how the analysis looks like in this case, how you reach it in the first place to calculate it is when you right click on the multi ROI and you go to scalar generator under basic measurements, right under volume there's a new equivalent spherical diameter the reason for this is it's a very fast calculation it's um, calculating the diameter of a perfect sphere of the same volume as your pore or defect and um, that is very fast and useful for regular uh, quick analysis when you want of course many other things can be calculated and um, but if you have many thousands of features or uh, 10 more than ten thousand features each calculating a maximum ferro diameter, more complicated things, it can take a long time. So rather minimize the number of tick boxes and use equivalent spherical diameter, which is the new one there for quick analysis. Right, so the third thing I want to demonstrate, I can put the porosity analysis off and right click and minimize view, is I want to show you image quality metrics. This is a new feature where we can what I've done here is I've made a, a smooth data of the same. Um, I've used the image filtering toolbox to make a blurred out version. So you can see that the, when I toggle between these two data sets, um, the, so this, the one on the top of the list here is much more blurred out. The edges are not so clearly defined. So how do we quantify that? We can use image quality metrics, which work on 2D image slices. So let me show you how that works, how to get to that. If we have the original one active, what you do is you right click on the image and um, usually the image slices won't be visualized, the marked slices won't be visualized. So let's start. This is where you would find show marked slices indicated. So this is to mark specific slices and um, nothing is marked yet. That's why unmark would not be visible. What we need to do is we need to click on this um, slice for example and then on the image we can say new image from mark slices so this new item here is simply one specific image slice number 788 actually if we go to the um, second data set which is blurred out we want to mark the exact same slice so let's just hide and show the mark slices indicator and we click on that tick box and then in the on the image itself we can um, make a new image from mark slices 
So in that way, if we create, um, we can see both of these on top of each other. These are simply single images. So if I now right click on either one of these, we can go to uh, open image quality metrics down here. Now we can select both of those single, uh, single slice images and we can compare them. So we can calculate different image quality metrics. So what we can see here is that the original data had a, a 782 sharpness value where the denoised one had a very, only 137. So this is much lower. As we've seen, it was blurred out. There's also Shannon entropy, which is not changed that much. Regular signal to noise ratio, which is slightly higher in the denoised one and a Q factor calculation, which is slightly higher in the denoised one. But the sharpness in this example is clearly different. So I hope these features are useful and I hope you find these videos useful to find where they are in Dragonfly. So until next time, thanks and goodbye.